What's that sound? Rain. It has not stopped raining. It's rained non-stop. Since 2 o'clock yesterday. I don't like rain. I don't mind a little rain. But raining non-stop. Yeah. It's kind of a bummer. So what are our plans today? Well, we were going to go do something fun, a surprise, but I don't even know if we're going to be able to do it. Doesn't it doesn't stop raining. I mean, I guess we could do it in the rain, but put my rain jacket on. And they don't care about the rain. Pull out the GoPro. Can you see them? Are they right there? Did they come up? They're still avoiding us. So. We're practically sleeping with alpacas. What? <laughs> sleeping with alpacas? Yeah. They're right over there. They are. But I think they're afraid of us because they haven't come any closer. Oh, I kind of feel bad we've like come into their territory. I, I was hoping that would like closer. open the door and there'd be like an alpaca smiling at me. Did you open the door? I did. I looked out the window. They're wanting an alpaca. <laughs> alpaca farm in Montana. That we just found on a whim. Totally yeah. unplanned. Pretty cool. Yep. We like those unplanned. Rainy day, rainy morning. Cranked up the generator. It's gonna be a boring day. I'm um, gonna need some work done. Lindsay's gonna get some work done. Forty Gators play football today in an hour started. and fifteen minutes. Won't be able to watch the game, but I'll at least be able to check on it. So we'll be hanging out here for a couple hours and then we will drive. It's about a four and a half hour drive to Kalispell. We're gonna try to be up there for church tomorrow morning, so we'll probably leave sometime today. Here's how the camper looks right now. We've it's got in the bathroom alone, we have a water bottle, tennis shoes. A guidebook to South America, <laughs> the toilet, which we're supposed to have, trash can. trash can, bud wipes, and over here we have the screen that the dog tore out from the door, there's a first aid kit, there's some bags that should have been thrown away, there's towels, shoes, and then there's a shoe rack, and then as we pan up, what is this, oh we're hanging all of our stuff in here. There's my rain jacket. It's got some raindrops on it. I had to go outside, so that's good. But man, what a what a place. And then over here, you may think that's a bag of chips on the floor, and you'd say, why is there a bag of chips on the floor? Well, that's a trash bag. <laughs> well, what's that bag that's hanging right there on the door? Well, that's a trash bag, too. We have stuff everywhere. We haven't quite found our sweet spot on the road. We're still adjusting trying to figure out where everything goes, how to do everything again, but we'll get there, we'll figure it out. We'll get rid of a lot of stuff. Most of the stuff's good. Some of the stuff can go somewhere else. Lindsay, why are you crying? Why'd you make me cry, babe? Why are you crying? Oh. The rain stopped, why are you crying? Just cut a bunch of onions. <laughs> oh. Hashtag truck camper life. Cooking in small spaces with onions. Oh my gosh. Yummy. Can be a little rough, but it smells so good. I think I'm crying. Can you see? He's not even close to him and he's crying. Yeah, this whole camper is full of onions. Oh, smells yeah. delicious. And little, to be delicious. little living spaces. We'll have tacos for days. Tacos for days. We love our tacos very much. not super friendly. At least these guys aren't. Hopefully the ones we get to feed are a little bit more used to people. These guys don't want me to come near them. Look at them all. There's like hundreds of them. So many. So cute. Hello. 
just want to scratch your ears. You won't let me scratch your ears? Hello. Are you a friendly one? Huh? Lindsay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they love her. That is hilarious. They won't come up to me at all. Abby doesn't know what to do. Look, they're gonna chase her. Abby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Chris, that is hilarious. Oh my gosh, they are chasing the dog. <laughs> She's terrified of them. Never. How cute was that though? Look at them run. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. Oh, they're coming at me. Hello. She's terrified. Look, they love her though. Look at the one running up at her. Yeah. Whoop. Are you making a friend, Everest? Huh? Are you gonna make a friend? Hmm? What's up, bro? <clears throat> Say hi. I love her. Yeah, it's so crazy. Look at them. They You're all a come. Dog. They all come for the dog. Look at. <laughs> they could care less about me. They're pushing down the fence just to get close. Oh my gosh. I drive out to the those fields up there. With the with my mower with the clippings and yeah. you know, I almost had a hard time getting in the gate and you know, storming out to see them. Yeah. <laughs> what are their stomachs like? Do they just have one or do they so have several? They've got a couple. They're not too luminous. Uh -huh. They're they're uh, but they are semi luminous. Yeah. They've got a couple stomachs. And they do, you know, spit up and chew the cut. Oh, look at that little baby. These little babies guy. won't eat it. You can pet them on the neck or the back, not on the head. They okay. Don't like <laughs> okay. And uh, the babies are here because the others are here. Because their mommies are here and they're curious also. Mm -hmm. If you're lucky, the babies will just kind of maybe some of them might come up to you. Yeah. Don't count on it. But oh, if you're wow. Lucky, they're so soft. Oh, they are totally, yeah. So a uh, pack of fiber is, oh. is a lot finer than wool. It's warmer than wool. It breathes better than wool. It doesn't have the lanolin itch or mm -hmm. the little barbs in the wool itch. Can you get some food? <laughs> Some of them are greedier than one. others. Oh, okay. See the one right in front of you? She's, yeah. a, she's the oldest baby. Oh, see okay. her dreadlocks? Yeah. You see her dreads? This is her this mom. One, okay. This is her mom. All the others don't have that. They're, they're Suris versus the rest of these are Hakayas. Yeah. Oh my gosh, their lips tickle. That's totally different than feeding a horse. 
<laughs> yes, it definitely is. What about a reindeer? The, the reindeer are different. I don't remember. Like, I feel their teeth. <laughs> It kind of scares okay. Just a little bit. Yeah, well, that's why I warned you. That, but they won't try and bite you. They yeah, just, you know, no. You just kind of feel them because they're there. They keep them there, but they, they're trying to use their lips. I don't have any. I don't have any. Okay. You know, we'll have a certain percentage of blacks and then whites, and we're going to try to reduce the number of colors. Yeah. So what'd you think? That was a neat experience. Yeah. I liked it. Would you do it again? I'd do it again. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're interested in staying in a place like this, they're members of Harvest Host, and we have a link in the description for why we love Harvest Host. Uh, yes, this is a plug for it. Um, but you get to stay in really cool places, like an alpaca farm. Yeah. How cool is that? We woke up with alpaca, <laughs> 50, our, yeah. 75 alpaca in our backyard, like right outside the door. It's pretty cool. That yeah, was amazing. They were fun to watch. Yeah. They were fun to watch. It's awesome uh, if you're ever driving through this part of the country off of Interstate 90 in Montana, just outside of Bozeman. Uh, I guess it's Manhattan is the town, just outside of Manhattan. So if you're in the area, give them a call, go stay there because you will appreciate it. And now we're on to something different, which is... Walmart parking lot? Walmart parking lot. <laughs> We're going to Walmart. Yeah, or Cabela's. Or Cabela's. And we'll show you. Kalispell? Kalispell. Well, now that you said it, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Yeah, I don't know either. So. I, I was saying it right until you said it, and now I don't know. That's the way you've been saying it. Okay. Well, we're headed to Kalispell. Kalispell? 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 We're headed to Kalispell. Kalispell? No, it sounds wrong. <laughs> And uh, we're going to get there late. We're going to be driving for about five hours, so it's going to be boring, but beautiful. Hopefully the rain stays away. And we're going to spend the night in a parking lot, either Cabela's or Walmart. Most likely. Yep. So we'll show you how that works. It's pretty simple, but you can't assume that you can stay in these places for free. It's always good to ask. It's always good to ask. And we don't like being the jerks that show up and ruin it for everybody else. So we'll get there and we'll scope it out and see which of the two places we'll end up camping for the night. We are headed north for the day, and we'll be checking in later. Peace. Alpaca. Let's go. Let's leave. We're already running late. Bye. Felicia. <laughs>
we did end up in, par in a Walmart parking lot. That was kind of our goal, um, which is really lacking ambition if your goal is to end up in a Walmart parking lot. But we're here. Um, we're about an hour away from Kalispell. So we're going to wake up in the morning and we're going to go to church. It was a long day of beautiful driving, spectacular scenery. We're in the mountains of Montana. Montana. We're in the mountains of Montana, which is named after Montana, which in Spanish is mountain. Is it really? I'm gringo in this one up. Montana is mountain, so Montana is named for the mountains. We felt like we were in Canada. It feels just like driving in the, the national parks in Canada, Banff and Jasper. Uh, I mean, absolutely stunning. It's amazing. Uh, except when you have to drive up a mountain. We're not good at driving up mountains, but driving through them has been pretty awesome. So, so here we are in Walmart parking lot. We're excited to be stopped for the night. We'll wake up in the morning. We'll have our hour drive along Flathead Lake which will be gorgeous. We're going to be scouting out campsites to spend the next couple days. Hopefully spend the next couple days, get some kayaking in and some exploring the area and just chilling out in a gorgeous, gorgeous place. We usually run like the last two nights. Drive, stop, drive, stop, drive, stop. So we're trying to find a place where we can just chill out and slow enjoy. Down. Slow down. And it is all gorgeous up here. So anyway, that's the plan. Lindsay has warmed up the chicken. It's time for tacos. It's Taco Tuesday, isn't it? Uh, today's Saturday. It's still Taco Tuesday. <laughs> oh, it's Saturday. That means the Gators won. Yep. Gators. Go Gators. So the thing about finding campgrounds for free is um, there's a couple apps that you can go to. We've got a post about that. We'll be sharing the link in the description, but um, iOverlanders a go-to, All Stays, and Campendium. Those are our three that we really rely on finding campsites. Most of them will help us find free stuff. Sometimes it costs a little bit of money. Sometimes we're willing to pay a little bit of money to not end up in the ghetto, like we did in SeaTac, in between Seattle and Tacoma, in a, what was that called? Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, it was a Bass oh man, Pro Shop. I went in because you usually want to you want to go and ask permission, make sure it's okay. And I was like, "Hey, is it okay if we camp out here tonight? My wife has a five o'clock in the morning flight. We need to be out, you know, driving out there to the airport about three in the morning." And the lady looks at me and goes, "Well, it is our company policy to let RVs camp in the in the uh, parking lot, but I want to tell you, this neighborhood sucks." I don't think she said it that way, but she said it's not a safe place and she wouldn't recommend it and they have zero responsibility if, you know, we were murdered or something. So, good thing that didn't happen. We made it to the airport on time and Lindsay got to fly out. We really enjoy using iOverlander first. Gives us all the free stuff. All stays will give us some free stuff and um, some other places that have Passport America and Good Sam. It also shows places like Army Corps of Engineers, which is going to be spots right on a water or a lake or reservoir, usually, you know, where there's a dam. Gorgeous sites. It'll show state parks and things like that. And then Campendium is, you know, free stuff as well. A lot of overlap. So that's kind of our third place that we go to for finding campsites. So this Walmart is courtesy of iOverlander. The alpacas last night, courtesy of iOverlander. So we're doing pretty good. I Overlander is doing pretty good. But if you're interested more in how we find our campsites, uh, we don't like to pay. Sometimes we do. If we wake up with alpaca all over the place, it's worth the money. Um, but usually we don't like to pay to camp. So if you're interested in finding out how we do that, you can read the post and we'll be talking about it in later episodes. So now it is time to get onto this delicious food and get to bed. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Good night. Um, you're doing it in the wrong area. Privacy? <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs>